In this video, we are going to learn the idea behind bag of words. Let's begin. Let's say we have these three sentences and we have to convert these three sentences into three vectors. For that, we are going to use bag of words. So the very first step is we have to collect all the unique words from these three sentences. Let's do that. So these are the unique words which are available in all these three sentences. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a matrix out of this. Now let me show you. First we have to take the first word and check whether this word is there in the first sentence or not. If it is there then put 1 otherwise put 0. In this case it is there so we have to put 1. So this is the basic idea behind bag of words. Now let's take the second word and check whether this word is there in the first sentence or not. In this case it is there. So let's put one. If you do the same thing for all the remaining words then this will be the output. Now let's do the same thing for the second sentence. Take the first word and check whether this word is there in the second sentence or not. Then take the second word and check whether this word is there in the second sentence or not. And this will be the output for the second sentence. Again, we have to do the same thing for the third sentence and this will be the final output. Now we have successfully converted text into vectors. How? So this is the vector representation for the first sentence and this is the vector representation for the second sentence. So this is how bag of words works. Now what we can do simply we can take this numeric representation of each sentence and we can feed it into the model. We will get the output. This is the idea behind bag of words. Now let's see what's wrong with bag of words. The problem with bag of words is it treats each and every word equally. For example if you look at the word product it occurred in all three sentences. So, it is not at all helping us in differentiating one sentence from another, right? But if you look at these words, good, bad, average, these are the key words which helps us in differentiating one sentence from another. But if you look at the weightage, they are getting equal weightage. Product is also getting one, good is also getting one. But it is not correct, right? The word good contributes a lot more than the word product, which means the word good should get high weightage whereas the word product should get low weightage. For example, 0 0.1 for product and 0 0.99 for good. So if we get this kind of representation then the model would perform even better. So how to achieve this? That is where TF-IDF comes in picture. In the next video we are going to learn how TF-IDF works. Now let's open a notebook and let's see how we can implement bag of words in Python. Alright, first we need to install this sklearn library. For that we can use this simple pip command pip install sklearn. It will get installed. Then here we have three sentences. The product is good, a bad product and an average product. What we are going to do is we are going to convert these three sentences into three vectors using bag of words. For that, we have to import count vectorizer from sklearn. Let me do that. From sklearn dot future extraction dot text import count vectorizer. Then I'm going to create an object of this count vectorizer class. Bag of words equals to count vectorizer. Then simply we can use this fit transform method to convert text into vectors. Let's do it. Inside this method we have to pass all sentence. It will give us an object. So let's convert this object into an array. For that we can simply use this to array method. It will give us an array. So this is the vector representation of these three sentences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this in a variable. And now let's look at the output. So if you want to see all the unique words which are available in these three sentences and their order, you can simply use this function. Get future names out 
it will give you all the unique words which are available in these three sentences as well as their order. Yes, this is how you can convert text into vectors using backup words. In the next video, we are going to learn about PFIDF.